Oh, hey there. How are you doing? You're in my room. This, uh, I thought that this would be the greatest introduction to my channel, which would be to show off, uh, my messy room. I wanted to start like that because I want you to know that I'm being authentic and real, and here on this channel, I just want to be in my house, in my room, with my stuff, looking at things that I love, and just happen to be recording it so that my friends on the internet can see. So I thought it'd be good to just be honest and be like, my house is a mess. I'm literally gonna have to clean up back there to even film the next part of this video, so. So what is this channel all about? That is a great question. I do not entirely know, but I do know that I wanna do things that involve Pokemon cards. I do know that I wanna do things that are anime related, anime reviews maybe. I wanna build things like crafts or maybe Legos and anything else that is nerdy and fun and collectible. Lastly, I'll be trying to do vlogs. I'm not gonna promise that I'll do too many vlogs just because I don't go as many places as you might imagine. But if I do go somewhere, I'll try to bring a camera so that I can just bring y'all along for the ride. But as you can see from the title of this video, it is not exactly going to be a standard video today. I wanted to show my haul that I got from Disneyland. So if you don't know, our whole family went to Disneyland about a month ago, and I'll, I'll just tell you the whole story in a minute. The last thing that I wanted to say really quick is a disclaimer, which if you can see, I'm wearing a Deadpool shirt. I wore this on purpose just to make a point that on this channel, just like Royalty Soaps, it will be squeaky clean, completely appropriate for children. I mean, I am the Earl of Suds, so of course it's going to be squeaky clean. However, I will be talking about occasionally some things that aren't appropriate for children, like Deadpool. So Deadpool is not appropriate for children, and I won't talk about anything that's like <laughs> bad in the show or inappropriate, but just so that you know, there will be movies and shows that are mentioned that I'll give a disclaimer and be like, not for kids. But anyway, and lastly, before we get into the haul, I'm trying to do everything in this channel with positivity. So I will not even be doing things like the worst anime ever or talking about things that I don't like. So this channel is supposed to encourage you and make you happy and make you enjoy things and make you just hang out with me and have a good time. So I'm not going to talk about things that I don't like. I'm only going to talk about things that I do like. I think that there is enough negativity on the internet and in the real world that I just kind of wanted to make this a safe space where you can come with me to my room and we talk about things that we love and we have a good time and hopefully you can feel my love through YouTube and you can just feel like you're my friend because you are my friend. Oh, I don't know if you've noticed but I've got a lot of stuff and I promise that if y'all are actually interested I will show off my room and show off all the things that are hiding. I'm actually specifically standing in a spot so that you see the boring side of my room because ahead of me is all of the stuff <laughs> that I have bought for the channel before I've even recorded the first video. So you can say I'm a little bit too gung-ho about the whole thing, but y'all have given me a great excuse to buy a bunch of stuff. But anyway, I'm blubbering. We should just get to the hall, so let me go clean up and then we'll switch to that spot. Voila! Look how clean it is! It's so almost all clean except for this this thing right here, which please ignore it. My wall's not perfect actually, unfortunately. So for this Disney haul, I wanted to do more than just kind of pull all my stuff out and just show it. I thought that it'd be more fun for me to kind of tell you the story of our trip and show you it in the order that I bought it, which Spoiler alert, I bought a lot at Epcot, so <laughs> the story is going to be a little bit just quick before then. So how on earth did my gigantic family go to Disneyland? Well, to just tell you immediately, we were taken by Make-A-Wish Foundation because my sister Polly, who has Down Syndrome, had, um... She was diagnosed with leukemia about one year ago, I think. And just as an update, she is doing amazing. She's completely into remission. She's doing just wonderful. But Make-A-Wish, still, the amazing people that they are, they still sent us on this trip. So they paid for everything. And we went and stayed at the Give Kids the World Village, which was so amazing. So we got on the plane and we flew to Orlando, the whole family, and then the first day we went to the Disney Magic Kingdom Park, which was literally magical. I love it. But 
I'll tell you what, I am kind of a chintzy guy. I'm trying to learn better to not be so stingy with my money. But that first day, I was so proud of myself because I didn't buy anything. So <laughs> I don't actually have anything to show for that first day because I was trying to not buy stuff. Now, I caved after day one. So <laughs> I don't have anything to show from Disney Magic Kingdom. But anyway, I'm blubbering and blabbering. And I hope y'all don't mind there just being a, a rant before I show you anything cool. So the next day, we went to Universal Studios Orlando. At the Orlando Park, there was a place that was Seuss Land, Dr. Seuss, and it was so amazing. Everything was so colorful. All of the buildings looked like Seuss. All of the roads looked like Seuss. It looked like it was you were just walking in a drawing. But I did pick up one thing from one of the shops there. I got this little guy. This is the most adorable plushie I have seen. He is so cute with his little bow tie. Oh my goodness. I suppose that you can see why I caved because there's things like this there, which this is just like kawaii to the max. And this is what started it all of me spending money whenever I'm at an all expense paid trip. Of course I should buy things, but but anyway, too cute. I love him. I think that that's the only thing that I actually bought at Universal, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, I really did just buy everything at Epcot. The roller coasters at Universal were the best. I love roller coasters. And that's part of why I love flying because I just like going fast, being high up, and I like stick my head out the window as much as I can. Ooh. Look at the ground! I don't know, I know people get afraid of it, and I totally understand, but for me, I love it. We went to Disney Magic Kingdom, we went to Universal Studios, the next day, I think we went to Universal Island of Adventure, and there were so many things that we didn't know were licensed by Universal. So like, we walked through the comic land and we were like, why is there Betty Boop? That's so cool. <laughs> and there was all these characters from old comics they had, they licensed them, and I didn't know that Universal owned that. We also went to Disney Hollywood Studios. I don't think that I bought anything there except for like a few sodas because it was so hot. And I know I should have drank water and I drank plenty of water, but the fizziness, it's so refreshing. I can't, I can't, I'm sorry. I know it's unhealthy. <laughs> This is a train wreck. I thought that I would tell the story of the whole trip and I'd have things to show, but I don't. I just have stuff from Epcot. We went to Epcot. Now, we didn't first go to Japan, which is where I got most of my stuff. The first thing that we did, and this is like the reveal of the giveaway, because I'm gonna give away a couple of things, which is in the title, but I, did, I forgot to put it in the intro. I have item here that I'm gonna be giving away. Uh, one of the items I'm gonna be giving away. We went to the London portion and I picked up this. If you like what's in here, you already know what it is, which it's Twinings. Some of the best tea I've ever had. I love Twinings, especially their English breakfast. I really like their Earl Grey too. So they had these little boxes that were in there and they have kind of exclusive flavors that are harder to find in stores and stuff. And you were able to buy 10 of them. So there are 10 that I picked that are kind of the more unique flavors. So like they have a chai, for example, but this one is spiced apple chai. This is English breakfast, but extra bold. This is chai, ultra spice. This is English breakfast with lemon. And this is decaffeinated green tea, pomegranate and raspberry. Earl Grey Jasmine, that's, I wanna try this. I actually got a couple of Earl Greys I see here. Those are good. So if you like tea, I am giving these away. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to give them away. By the time that this video is up, I will have figured it out and there will be a link in the description below. I'll, I'll try to make a way so that people that aren't on Instagram can get it. Anyway, so that was in London. The big reveal. And what did I get in Japan? Well, I walked into Japan, at Epcot, at Disney, at Orlando, and I loved it. There was so many bonsai trees. Immediately, that's the first thing that you notice, because the first thing that you see, besides the giant pagoda and castle looking thing that was there, man, everything was so awesome. I could have just stayed in that, like, squared off area for just, for the whole day. I could have just hung out there, looked at the, they had a koi pond, they had that giant pagoda in the middle and they played drums at it actually. The first thing I walked into their like home goods area and I had to pick up some chopsticks because there were so many chopsticks there. I loved these cause they're, they're so stylish. And it comes with a little bag unopened as you can see. Okay, 
I think I'm making a mess already. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I like that. Two beautiful chopsticks. Now you know not to rub chopsticks together whenever you're using them because that is a sign that you think that the chopsticks are cheap. Oh, oh, it's like a little placemat. What? I do not know what this is. Oh, so what? You like, I think you tuck them into this corner and then you roll it? <laughs> uh, that's not how you do it. I don't know how you do this. So what, you just like wrap it around? If you know how to put chopsticks in these containers, please tell me. I don't know what I'm doing. These are so awesome. I can't wait to eat some ramen with them. Anyway, I'm going too slow. Anyway, <laughs> the next thing is something that my brother actually got me. I didn't know that he had gotten this at the time. He snuck it out of there, but he got got me Gudetama. Gudetama? I don't actually know how to pronounce him. I'm so sorry. I'm actually reading it. It's like Gudetama. I don't know. I don't know. It's the lazy egg, okay? Everybody knows the lazy egg with a little bacon wrapped around his, <laughs> his rear. And he's, uh, he's just looking lazy. And he's got a little butt. That's so funny. That reminds me of Spongebob, just him having a little bottom. Something else that I got. Of course, I got some Ghibli things. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes! I got a no-face plushy man and he has little beads. Little beads on his uh on his lower part so that he can sit up. There so he can sit up, just like I said. You see, it works first time. Oh my gosh, I love him. No Face is one of my favorite characters and Spirited Away, I have to say, is my favorite Ghibli movie. So I had to grab him, I saw him and I was like, oh no, oh no. Anyway, giveaway, part two giveaway. So the first part is the T. Part two is boom. Look at them, they're so cute. It's the Sailor Moon kitty cats. Can you believe how cute they are? They're little round, stuffy, fluffy puffs. I love them so so much. Admittedly, I've never seen Sailor Moon. I am so sorry, but I know what these are and I know what they're from. And so one lucky person is going to get these two. I said he was good at standing up. It may have been a lie. Do you want these? Look in the description box, I think. Oh, Katie got me these. Oh my goodness. I love these so much. Ooh, what are they? They're paper covers or paper sleeves or whatever they're called. Oh, uh, she got me two of these. The first one is the cat bus from my neighbor Tortoro. Oh my goodness, I love that cat bus so much. He's so scary. <laughs> That's my favorite thing about him is that he's got this gigantic mouth. He is so weird and freaky. It makes me laugh. And then the other one, oh my goodness. This makes me emotional, to be honest. I cannot, I cannot. I am such a sucker for Spirited Away. It's such a sweet movie. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get emotional and I have to keep going. <laughs> Spirited Away, please watch it if you haven't seen it. It is truly magical. Now, it is a tiny bit scary, so. If your kid doesn't like gigantic mouths opening, then maybe just wait for a little while. There's also Spider Guy with like a bunch of arms. I'm blabbing on, blabbing on. The two big eyes. Oh, can barely reach it. All right. What did he get? He got a big fat thing that he couldn't not get. Boom. Look at it. Yes. It is a, oh, no face, please. It is a Full Metal Alchemist backpack. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I saw this and I was like, darn it. Darn it, they got me. And they did, they got me completely. This whole thing is designed like uh, Alphonse Elric himself. The characters I have an emotional connection to. If you've seen the show, you know what this symbol means. And honestly, just seeing this symbol here is making me emotional because it's such a sweet story of self-sacrifice and brotherly love. And honestly, that stuff always gets to me. Anyway, you can see that I actually got some pins too on it. So here are the pins that I got for it. I got a Steamboat Willie because I love Steamboat Willie. And then I got a My Neighbor Tortoro and also a Castle in the Sky, which are both excellent movies. And this starts my pin collection. I don't have any other pins except for Pokemon pins that I got for Pokemon packs. Pokemon pin, Pokemon pack. So please, if you have amazing pins, I would love to hear about it. The final item. This has dragged on for a lot longer than I thought. What is this? Okay, as you can tell, it's unopened because I was planning on doing an unboxing from the beginning, so I haven't even enjoyed this thing yet. It's been almost a month, and it is something that I can use, and it's something that I was saving for y'all so that you can see it. Wow, they really wrapped this thing up tight. It's probably because it's so fragile. 
we just tear into this lovely job that the beautiful Japanese girl that was there worked so hard to make it so protected. Man, they wrapped this thing twice. How many? Man. Oh. Oh. Ah. It's shoes. I'm just kidding. It's not shoes. It does look like a shoe box though. I actually, I just thought of this. This, this actually went on a flight with me and I don't know if it's actually damaged. I'm sure it's fine, but still. What is in here? Oh, authentic wrapping paper. That's what I bought. Ooh. Hallelujah. Oh, what is this? It is the most beautiful tea set in the world. How beautiful. And it's so small. This is what I love about Japan and China and how they drink tea is that they drink it in such small quantities. They drink it out of such small cups. And I have to say that more dainty drinking of tea rather than just having a, a big fat mug of it. Uh, I don't know. It's so appealing. I think that it's so fancy and it does like give honor to the tea or what or whatever you'd call it looky looky oh it's so pretty i wonder what this i want i think this thing's supposed to be off of it i knew i i was trying to not to buy a teapot or any anything like it because i was like oh my gosh it's it's kind of expensive and i don't want to okay so it's like it you bend it you bend it onto it question mark Question mark, answer mark. Uh, I know what I'm doing is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, that's how you do it, for sure. Uh, okay, that seems to work. Oh, wow, so pretty. Look at it. I love it so much. Look at it. I love this design so much. I was trying to pick between this and an owl one, but the owl one, I don't know. It just didn't speak to me like this one. So even though this isn't something that's particularly interesting to me, it's just beautiful flowers. I, I picked it because I love it and it's so pretty. Oh, and then the little lid and then there's this paper in the box. Woo! No face is rebellious. Yes. My very first real tea set. This is the first time that I have seen it since I went to Epcot and I cannot wait to brew some tea with this. Ooh, ASMR. Where did good, good at him go? Where'd my lazy egg go? When did I knock him off the table? I knocked him off the table. Where did you go, good at him? That's it? Question mark? Oh, I... I've forgotten two things. Oh, there's more. This is something that I picked up in, I'm darn sure it was in Animal Kingdom. Correct me if I'm wrong. Disney people will know what I'm talking about. I went to Animal Kingdom. We went all through the Avatar area, which was super cool. Uh, I've got pictures up on Instadoodle if you want to see them. We went to the place that has the Yeti roller coaster. And I loved that Yeti roller coaster, by the way. There's a part whenever you ride in the roller coaster and you go down into a mountain and there is a gigantic gigantic yeti that's like reaching out with his hand and feels like he's gonna grab you mature children like me see this fake yeti with his arm out and you're like <laughs> don't hit me but he was literally gigantic we went to the gift shop i didn't want to pick up anything else because i was still saving for epcot because this was before epcot epcot was the last day i'm pretty sure i picked up the most kawaii yeti in the entire world this is so adorable. Look at how cute this thing is. Fit, I'm trying to fit everything on this table, but it's too much. It's too much stuff. Okay, we are so close. I have got so much stuff. Or at least it feels like a lot to me. Maybe you're looking at it going, I would have bought a lot more. So I actually bought something from China at Epcot that I'd forgotten about. I thought about buying one of these things at Japan, but honestly, I thought that this one spoke to me more which is an umbrella. Look at this umbrella. It is a panda. It is an adorable panda umbrella. I love it so much. It has ears and, and a big panda face. I was actually using this as an umbrella for the sun because as you can see, I am a vampire. So I have to be very careful with the sun. People were just looking at me like I was a goofball because I was a goofball. I'm a 22 year old male with a big panda umbrella. I don't know, it kept the sun off of me and I think it's adorable. So, so just forget about the haters. I'll just show, I'll just show off this stuff real quick. I'm sorry, I'm taking forever. Ooh, this is gonna be a long first video, I'm sorry. 
A couple things that I picked up. My mom actually got me this for my birthday, which is Cinderella and her main, her main man, the prince, and dancing in the moonlight. 2,000 pieces? Also, related, Mickey collection puzzle. Look at that. It's so cool. Each one of these little things is like uh, a screenshot of one of the cartoons that he's in. 1,500 pieces, I think? Yeah, this one's gonna be a while. Hey, that's a question for y'all. There's your first question. Do you like puzzles? Because I actually really enjoy puzzles and that could kind of be traced back to my grandma's house. Whenever I would go to my grandma's house, she had no toys. Harumph. You have all of these grandchildren and you have no toys, but she did have puzzles. And that was also something that she enjoyed doing. She would flip over all of the puzzle pieces so that I could see the front of them. And then I would start assembling all of the corners. I, I think that that's why I love puzzles. I don't know. It seems like a kind of granny thing to love, but I don't know if I'll be able to do puzzles somehow on this channel. I'm trying to think of a clever way to do that. If you can think of a clever way for me to do puzzles and for it to actually be fun and entertaining, please tell me in the comments below. I was thinking that I could maybe do a video of like super satisfying where I like put it together and then sped it up so that you could hear all of the little clickety clack pieces and you can watch it build itself. I could also put it into other videos where I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna do a vlog and then okay, now we're gonna build a puzzle. I don't know. If you have an idea, please put it in the comments below. In fact, please just talk Talk to me in the comments below. I am going to actually be reading all these comments, which is what I do on Royalty Soaps. I'd love to talk to you in the comments. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I would love to talk to you on Instagram too. You can ask my followers on Instagram. People message me all the time and I love responding to them and talking to them. I've actually kind of become friends with several of them. I, I just like talking to you guys. So please, if you actually liked this video, I'd really appreciate if you would give it a like. Crap, this is so bright. This, this guy's glowing. Anyway, if you'd love to see more stuff on this channel about me, please, for, for the love of Pete, just go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be doing lots of fun stuff. In fact, I mean, full disclaimer, I'm going to be opening a lot of Pokemon cards in the coming days and opening some collectible packs. And let's see, what else did I have planned? Maybe a room tour? Would you like a room tour? If you actually want one, I'd be happy to do it. Uh, I have lots of anime and cool stuff that I have hiding around here. Uh, I could also give you a short tour of my anime, DVD, manga, video game collection. If that's something that you like, just put it down in the comments below. I'd love to talk about it and talk about what I'm gonna do on this channel because this channel is just an opportunity for me to be able to do the things that I love, open up fun stuff, be a nerd, and just get out there and go to comic book shops and dig around for cool finds and stuff like that and then come back and enjoy it with y'all because I was already doing this. I was already going to buy this stuff because I love it, but now I can share it with you guys. So please, if you wanna hang out with me more, you could subscribe below. All right, I think that that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching. It was so much fun for me to do this video and for me to set up my room and actually make it look decent in this one portion. So I had a lot of fun. Just as my final remark, I'd love to just say to you, don't be so hard on yourself. If you have been expecting too much of yourself and you've maybe been a little bit disappointed with what you've done or how you've acted, this is just a friendly reminder to don't be so hard on yourself. Just do your best. Everybody knows that you're doing your best. Doing the right thing always makes results. Even if you don't get to see them, there is always a good result from the good things that you do. So go out there and be happy and be good and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I will see you next week. So without further ado, I will see you next time. Okay. That seemed pretty good. <laughs>